is turning into desert, as deforestation, overgrazing and construction are converting Earth's soil into an infertile mix of dust and sand. The UAE is no stranger to the idea of desertification, as sand makes up more than 75% of its land. To better utilize this natural resource, scientists have come to Dubai to discover how they can ensure that the hidden potential of sand doesn't slip through their fingers. Sand is already the second most used natural resource after water, modified to make everyday products from glass and cosmetics to high-tech solar panels. Its most popular use is in construction. In 2019, the world spent about 1 billion euros to import silica and quartz, and the UAE was the fourth biggest importer. This is because the country's grains lack the density and roughness to form building materials. A process using enzymes from microorganisms to turn desert into bricks is now being explored here. It can act as a glue between the sand grains or a cement between the sand grains. This process is too slow and costly to be practical, says Dr. Stephen, who is researching more controllable enzymes from beans and seeds to do the same job faster. So what are the possibilities of understanding microorganisms and beans in relation to sand for the future? The advantage of these microbes or using this enzyme is the amount of material that you'd need to transport from Earth to where you're doing the construction. And you can use the, the sand that is available locally on that planet and harden it with these uh, microorganisms. Desertification has cost the EU tens of billions of euros yearly to counter the dramatic loss of freshwater and crops, according to the European Commission, and it's set to degrade 90% of Earth's land by 2050. The world is facing a sand crisis, as the sediment is being extracted faster than it's being replenished, destroying entire ecosystems and arable land for agriculture. To reverse this process, scientists believe the answer lies in desert science. This is the focus of Dubai's International Center for Biosaline Agriculture, or ICBA. Its scientists explore how flora and fauna can survive in areas with low water and unfavorable climates, called marginal environments. We already have 1.7 billion people or more living in such environments. But with more and more places being converted and being desertified, more and more places are going to look like the UAE, making the work of ICBA more important for the rest of the world. The research center is enhancing the quantity of bacteria and fungi in sand to create a stronger network of water and nutrients to feed plants. And it's converting the region's plentiful date palm waste into biochar, which serves as a nutrient conditioner for sand, adding carbon. Climate technology company Desert Control is looking to speed up this process with liquid nanoclay, or LNC which it says can turn desert sand into fertile soil in about seven hours instead of seven years naturally. This technology coats sand grains to create surface tension like a net that prevents water and nutrients from seeping down and away from plant roots. Current technology that we have at the moment, we have one production unit, which is the capacity of 100,000 liters per day, which is can convert Arabian land into a farmable land. Fundraising nearly 20 million euros to scale up, Desert Control plans to add two more units to their green-making fleet this year and expand in the UAE, Saudi Arabia, and possibly the world as desertification continues to rise. <laughs>